Hi, thanks for joining me today. What the Bible says about who I am. A, I am accepted, Ephesians 1, 6. Regardless of your circumstance, your background, what you've done before, everything can be erased. You can be fully accepted by God. And I wanna show you how through this. B is I am blessed. We're gonna go A through J. B is I am blessed, Ephesians 1, 3. C, I am cleansed, 1 John 1, 9. You have been forgiven of all your sins. The Bible says if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of all our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Now, how could you be forgiven of all your sins? A sin is anything we've done wrong. We fall short of the glory of God. And we're forgiven of our sins when we put our faith and our trust and our belief in Jesus. And that is where we are forgiven. And I want to show you a little bit through that. So hang with me. Even if you do not believe, I want to be able to show you some different areas through the Bible that could be encouraging for you. D is I am dead to sin. Romans 6, 11. Verses 10 and 11 in Romans 6 say the death he died, he died. That's just Jesus. He died to sin once for all. It's done. The price of sin has been paid for. And then it says, but the life he lives, he lives to God. In the same way, count yourselves dead to sin, but alive to God in Christ Jesus. E is I have eternal life, John 3, 36. He who believes in the Son has eternal life, period. That is my own little exclamation point. He who believes in the Son has eternal life. And it doesn't matter of how many good things or bad things we have done, it can all be forgiven and you can receive that free gift. The Bible also says through that, John 3, 36, but whoever does not believe in the Son of God, the wrath of God abides in him. Now, why is that? Because they haven't believed in the sacrifice that pays for their sin. How is sin paid for? The Bible says without the shedding of blood, there can be no forgiveness of sins. And F is, I am forgiven, Ephesians 1, 7. Imagine if all your sins were displayed for everyone to see. None of us would want that. Then imagine they were all wiped completely, completely clean, as white as snow. They were wiped forgiven. That is complete, total forgiveness. 2 Corinthians 5, 21 says, God made him who had no sin, that's Jesus, to be sin for us. Did you get that? God made him, Jesus, who had no sin to be sin for us. In other words, he took that sin for you so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. G is I know God is for me. Romans 8.31 says if God is for us, who can be against us? The answer, no one. H is I am helped by him. Isaiah 44.2, ever need help in life? Or do you ever feel like you just have all the answers? Well, the great thing is we do not have all the answers and that we as believers in Jesus, we know that this is our answer. He helps to answer every area of life. He made you and he will help you. All you need to do is ask. His answer may not always be what we want it to be because as Isaiah 55, eight and nine say, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, Neither are your ways my ways. As high as the heavens are above the earth, so high are his ways above our ways and his, th his thoughts above our thoughts. He's a, he sees a bigger picture of how your circumstance will grow you. Psalm 119.71 says, It was good for me to be afflicted so that I might learn your decrees. In other words, you might know him better when you go through a trial because you become less dependent on yourself and more dependent upon him. I as I am inseparable from his love. Romans 8, 38 and 39 say, for I am convinced that neither death nor life, so you don't have to fear death, neither angels nor demons, that's the spirit world, neither the present nor the future, so your time, it's in his hands, nor any powers. Don't have to fear what someone may do to you who is in power over you. Neither height nor depth, and that's all space, nor anything in all the creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. 
Nothing can separate you from that love. Even if you fail 100 times in a day, think of a good father and mother who love their child. Do they still love them even if their child makes mistakes? Of course they do. And so does God through his son, Jesus. Your sin is paid for. John 3, 16 and 17 say, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life or everlasting life. And then it goes on to say, For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. It's not complicated. It's so easy. A child can believe it and do it. All you have to do is believe and receive. I've seen countless lives put their faith in Jesus who were on drugs at their lowest lows and who have never thought they would have had a change of heart, be completely and radically changed. I've seen a mafia hitman to an atheist who vowed they would never believe and he changes their he changed their lives. And if he has the power over death, then he can have the power over your life. He can transform any life. Last one is J, I am justified. Acts 13, 39, uh, 38 and 39 say, Therefore, my brothers, I want you to know that through Jesus, the forgiveness of sins is proclaimed to you. Through him, everyone who believes is justified from everything you could not be justified from by the law of Moses. In other words, you can't make it by following the law on your own because we all fall short. So where are you at in life? Are you sick and tired of being sick and tired? Then I want to be able to invite you to pray with me. Just be able to say, Dear God, I believe that I am a sinner and I believe my sin is wrong. But I believe you sent your son Jesus to pay for my sin. I put my trust in you now, Jesus. I repent and ask for forgiveness for my sin. I need your help. Come into my life. I can't do this on my own. And renew me today, I pray. In Jesus' name, amen. If you said this prayer, you are now a part of the family of God. It is that easy. All you needed to do was receive and believe by faith. You don't have to be perfect but now you are perfectly forgiven, and that is exciting news. You get to have now a relationship. Don't think of it as a religion with all the do's and don'ts. It's a relationship, and when you have that relationship, it invites you to do the right things. So now you're empowered through what's called the Holy Spirit, and that is through Jesus that we have the Holy Spirit. If you have been forgiven of all your sins, you will be in heaven forever. By saying that prayer and putting your faith and your trust and following him, you will have that. Now just join a Bible-believing church and share your life with other believers. Thanks so much for joining me. That is great news. Look forward to seeing you again soon.